There That's better. Okay. That's better. Uh, okay. One figures these things out. Yes, I don't know what's up with my second life. I just I have speak enabled. I've checked my input settings, but the speak button is kind of grayed out, and I can't click it, and I can't do anything with the little triangle next to it. Hmm. And I suspect it is upgrade related. When I logged in, they said, hey, you want to uh, download and install the latest version? And I said, sure I do. And yeah. I did, and as I was installing it, it gave me a couple of DLL errors. In any event. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm glad to say I can skip the um, no need to introduce Jeff bit. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so I don't know how much of a. So what do we want to do? Oh, I want to say hi to Robin. She's in the mental literacies course, and she's uh, in the stream, and um, she's just coming here to check it out. And I guess. I'm having trouble um, typing in the screen because it keeps cutting out on me. But um, she says she's heard Dave. Is Dave here? Did <laughs> we have a Dave? I do get mistaken for Dave sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I don't know. It could be Dave Lebo. I'm not sure. Anyway, but she's uh, here to experiment, so you know, welcome her. And Scott is also, I don't know, Scott, how are, did, did you come? I have uh, fallen behind in the, in the MOOC, obviously. <laughs> but I'm trying to lurk and stay current in the, in the, uh, the messages, just reading what's going on. Ah, uh, Robin is a friend of Dave's. Did you know that? He's a friend of Dave Cormier. He knows him from uh, Prince Edward Island, I think. Is that where you were, Robin? Maybe you can type in the text chat. You can read the text. And Robin, would you like to either join the Hangout or visit us in Second Life? Hangout is more practical for her. Maybe that you could put the sense. link in the. Uh, um, I career. will, although we also need probably to invite her. Um, so if you let us know your uh, Gmail address, mm -hmm. Robin, I can invite you that way. Second Life would not accept you. What is wrong with Second Life? <laughs> <laughs> they won't accept Robin and they won't let Jeff talk. Pretty restricted in Second Life days. Perhaps there's been a power takeover over the weekend. Hmm, wonder why Second Life. Yeah, I love Second Life, but I'm quite sure one of the reasons why there are not too many institutions actually teaching there is it's just not still not reliable enough. I mean, if you're earning your money and reputation on being able to turn up on time, it's highly frustrating to be chucked out every time you want to go to class. That happened to one person I knew quite well. It's a bit erratic. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I mean, you know, checking out some of the stuff during this languages conference, I feel like, you know, there's been some progress, but and some pretty cool, innovative things happening. But the things that were barriers to entry five years ago still are. Yeah. And sound causes a lot of problems. 
I mean, it could be that people say that people who are good at it say that very often the problem is in the configuration of individual PCs, but still, that they need to get around that problem somehow too, I would have thought. Oh, yeah, just, just a thought. I can't get sound in Second Life unless I go through a VPN, hmm. which I happen hmm. to have running at the moment. But that, that was one reason that it, it, for, I, I lost my VPN for a while. Um, mm. Because I just failed to renew it, and then I couldn't download it because Epic mm. is on to it, so I had to get it through other channels. And um, anyway, now it's working again, and I can get voice, but without the VPN, I'm, I, I don't know. It's like I'm, uh, at, at the slide, the, the, the um, UAE uh, monopolies have been actually lightening up quite a lot, but it's blocked but for some reason. It's, and Robin, I just found you on Facebook. Uh, looks like you're not in Google Plus yet, but she's working on her uh, finding her Gmail address. Uh, while we're waiting, I never really did quite understand what we were supposed to do tonight. Uh, which is nothing new for me. Uh, You're the star of the show tonight. Yeah, I mean, as far as like, okay, how do I do what I do? Um, all that stuff is really here in this link. Um, and it's gotten easier. Windows 7 has definitely made it easier. Um, and Mac people, they seem to be doing okay. And Hangout's going to integrate recording and streaming anyway, so all this stuff's going to be obsolete soon. At least for Hangouts. I don't know about Second Life. <laughs> yeah, Second Life might be obsolete soon well, as well. Yeah. Actually, this is one of the things I think that's making Second Life really approachable. And what uh, Hypey did during the so languages conference. So what you and she are doing at the Jeff, both of you are uh, going into Second Life and streaming from there. And well, in Heike's case, she just goes into um, Adobe Connect and just records screen shares, basically, and records that in Adobe Connect. She gets an Adobe Connect recording. But you can go into Adobe Connect and you can see what she's doing. And she, you and her are both good camera people. So um, I found uh, for the second for the FL Languages conference, uh, it's a layer of themes multitasking. If I have to go in there and steer an avatar, or even just park one somewhere, and um, whereas if I just tune into Adobe Connect and watch, you know, I get the benefit of the presentation. Plus, I get some really nice camera work, you know, which um, is harder for me to do. But I think that, that and, and that's why Rama is here, uh, because she's not going to the same life, but she could experience Second Life if we were there, right? And uh, I just think that's open, you know, it just makes it where people can see what's going on there, you know, which is really kind of uh, And Robin, I don't know if that address is going to work. What happens when you go to this address, plus.google.com, and try to log in. Like basically, you need to log into your Gmail or your Google World to access Plus. And I don't know if it's going to let it you do that with. That might be like a Google hosted domain or Google Apps email. Um, and I don't think that's going to let you into Google Plus. Yeah, and Google Plus is really cool. And uh, here again, Jeff is also uh, making that accessible to people by basically recording the Hangouts. And that's starting to catch on, because uh, Paul Allison is using it now, and it was teaching, teaching teachers. And Google's integrating it. Hey, have you guys played with the Google with extra, uh, the Hangouts with extra? You know, as soon as Google Plus came out, people started saying, oh, you know, they should do this and they should do that and they're going to integrate this and that, and they are. Uh, I used one for my online class uh, Friday so that I had a Google presentation 
And so within my Hangout, I loaded the presentation and I started clicking on that. And everyone could see the presentation as we went along. It has screen sharing if you want to share your whole screen or just a particular application. So for online teaching, at least groups of 10 or less, um, it's got some nice utility. How do we find this, Jeff, and how do you get into it? When you start a Hangout, you get a little pop-up that says, with extras, or try extras now for free kind of thing, which makes me wonder if this is going to be an add-on at some point, yeah. um, which I should have clicked when I started this. Um, actually, I wouldn't mind recongregating if you guys want to try that. Please, mm -hmm. please. Okay, I'm going to hang up. And then I'm going to start a new Hangout, and I will send you the link in Second Life and in the EFL chat. Will it also show up on Google okay. Circles? Yes, it should. Okay. Later, skaters. Talk to you very soon. And just to show anyone watching the stream how this is working, uh, here it says, try Hangouts with extra, with extras. And yes, I do. Yes, I do. And now I'm going to invite some people. Hey, welcome back. Hey, I'm going AFK for a second. Be right back. Okay. Hey, Robin. Welcome. We see you. Do you hear me? No, I guess not. So Robin has joined us, Scott, but I don't think we're hearing each other. Hello, Robin. Can I be heard by anybody? Yes, I hear you. Okay, but Robin doesn't. Oh. Microphone settings. And I don't have enough familiarity to talk anybody through this, so I'll just sit back and... Uh, that's and true. Jeff, like, the interface... Oh, there... The... Um, uh, Okay, I see a little wheel up next to the exit mark. I'm on Macintosh Chrome. And that little cog gear, when you click that, gets you to the settings. And you will have to select your microphone input. Yeah, and on Windows, I see the little microphone icon. The screen looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, so you see the reconfigured down the side of the page. And, oh right, she needs to click on, that mutes the mic. Oh, settings, the little gear. Yeah. Uh, oh, I can share my screen. Headphones, headphones, good idea. <laughs> yeah. I see these little mute signs next to Vance and Jeff. Did I do that, or did you guys do that? Oh, you have um, to unmute yourself, don't yes. you? Yes. So, are you guys seeing my window now? Oh, we're seeing all yeah. kinds of weird I stuff. Yeah, it's a little psychedelic. Barbershop window. 
Okay, can you hear me now? Yay! Got it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Okay. You never know what you're going to get. Robin, I'm wondering if you're still listening to the stream at EFL Bridges. I am. Live stream. So then just. Okay, pause. There. How's that? You tell us. Does life make yes. more sense now? No, we can hear the echo stop. I don't know if life makes more sense, but it sounds a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you know Dave in real life. In real life, he's uh, our eldest son's godfather. Oh. And you met him in Korea. Yeah, yeah. I met Dave and Bonnie in Korea. We were teaching in... at a camp for a month, and ah, okay. uh, we just then then we became really good friends. There's another circle. Uh, Daniel Lines. Do you know him? He works with Dave now in PEI. Anyway, it. Uh, this all started with campfires, and Dave kept on trying to sell us on Moodle, and and then uh, this, and we were, I was like, oh, Dave, this will never happen, and so it's kind of by accident that I came across him in this course. It's kind of neat. The first MOOC I've ever joined, and he's the first speaker. <laughs> it was really cool. He's become Mr. MOOC? <laughs> he is Mr. MOOC. Yeah, yeah. So how do you guys know Dave? Uh, I know Dave from real life also. We met here. I'm in Pusan now, and we met when oh. he was here in 99. And um, Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. when I was in Seoul. Okay, yeah, we were, so we were buddies here for a while, and then we've been doing geek stuff online for uh, the last few years. Oh, uh, I see. Okay, yeah, and what's your name? Business. I'm Jeff. You Jeff are? Lebo. Okay, you're Jeff. Okay, yeah. All right, and Vance, and then Scott at the bottom, right? Hi, Robin, okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Okay, got it. Hi, Vance. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so you're the, the yeah, you're the only one in North America right now. Okay. I'm not. I'm in Abu Dhabi. Oh. Vance and I are neighbors. There yeah. you go. Who needs North <laughs> Americans? <laughs> yeah, but uh, I guess that's a coincidence. You never know where you're going to end up, you know. True. So, kind of unusual. It's not really unusual. I've had two other people in UAE take the course. One was Mark Alvin, yeah. who became president of Peace Hall. Uh, mm. And the other was, um, oh, what was her name? Anyway, um, yeah, there have been people in the UAE who take the Peace Hall course. Neat. Well, it's been a really good experience so far. Mm -hmm. So, what is this for? I mean, this is my first time going to Hangouts. How would you use this in a, as a practical application? I don't know in uh, teaching, or is that where it's mostly used, or just like this? Well, it's, it's about two months old, so oh. things are still being uh, formulated. It's at this point kind of an alternative to Skype. Uh, yeah. For me, it's more solid, it's more reliable, it's lighter, it has better audio, better video, and multi-camera support for free. So wow, that's what's great. not to like? Uh, so you have to be Google Plus and then just Hangouts. Is that how you get it? That is correct. Okay, good. And with Thanks, this <laughs> screen sharing that you're mentioning there, Jeff, mm -hmm. it would now be perhaps an alternative to both Illuminate and is it Adobe Connect? Yes, um, and I forget. That's awesome. I... Are you seeing we my saw presentation, your presentation now? Earlier. No, the yeah, the shared yeah. screen is gone. Uh, okay. Yeah. So to answer the practical question, you could put students. You could have classes of students coming together to talk, or you can get presentations. There's stuff is. Mm. Um, there we go. Got it, Jeff. Got it. So, blah, 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 week one, blah, 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 blah. Great presentation. Thank you. All right. I like the short ones, you know. I try to keep it short. Neat. Got it. And so you can share everything. So I could have shown you all of my open windows. Yes. Um, that's one of the questions I had. Do you all have the same? Do we all have the same sharing powers? Like, do you see 
if you in your hangout you've probably got some yeah. video stuff happening to the left of that if you expand it do you see notes sketch pad um yep okay cool that's where you and i and you got documents that you can share also okay show your email address sure so what is i'm just playing with notes right now so i could write you a message right now on notes notes is like I mean, we can chat down here. The notes can be like a collaborative document, I guess. Huh, and the neat. sketch pad is a more graphic version of that. OK, I see. So Jeff, you're going all over. OK, so my class could write and say to the other. I'm not noticing these other features you're talking Click about. Click on notes. Where? Uh, do you see all it? I, all I have is share screen. <laughs> notes. What's the notes? Where is that? Know, you might have setting. to expand on the very left part of the screen. You might. Where's that? Oh, yeah. To like That's expand it. something. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. The little. Chevron there. Double, double arrow down. kind of thing. And it says notes. Yeah, notes, okay. And it's got a sketch pad. You know, I was thinking when we were talking about Illuminate, um, we were missing the sketch pad, you know. Let's, but there it is. And we did lose Dennis. I, does, has anyone been in touch with Dennis? Yeah, let's see. No. He's still in Second Life. He's sitting there in Second Life, and somebody else is there as well. Uh, Kalyan is there, and Mino is standing there. Arms of Kimbo, as if he's about to do something. Hmm. And just for what it's worth, on my Mac, and I'm using Chrome, I don't see those extra features you're talking about. All I have is the chat on the left. Really? I love that. It Above that, it says documents loading, so I might be, I might huh. be the problem. But it's not that big a deal. Well, we like to include our, we like to hang out with our Mac friends. But wait, Robin, you're on Mac, so it's not a Mac. No, I'm not. Issue. Oh, you're not. No, I'm using Google Chrome, but I'm not on a Mac. Really, your not desktop at all. looked very Mac-ish. Really? Wow. It's not. It's not. HP. How about that? Okay. I'm this, just uh, playing. This is 537. That's the, the thing you just uploaded? Yep. And so I'm sharing it now. Is that right? No, you have to click share screen and then click that. Uh -huh. Do you see it in the presentation window? Nope. So How like about mine? Are you oh. seeing mine now that I've Maybe. found? I that? see uh, yours. I'm like instead of your video, I see that. No, I'm showing I a see bunch of something pictures. about Cheech oh. and Chong. There you go, Cheech Elvis and Chong. Elvis in something. Who's posting this? That's me. Okay. And All right. But you didn't click share screen, did you? You changed your video settings. No, it's, this is sharing screen, and I really? selected one of my windows, yeah. When I do yeah. screen sharing, it gives you a choice of windows right. to, to display on the Mac. Hmm. But I'll, yeah, I'll, I did that too. It gave me a choice as well. I had to Skype. But, but we lost your webcam. Or replaced your webcam. Yeah, that's I, right. I, I think that's what happens. Okay, so now I've lost the Sheen screen sharing. This is... Oh, I'm just messing around. Yes. Right? What happens your if we have dual that. screen sharing? Can someone steal screen sharing from someone else? I think that's the way it goes and until somebody takes it. Mm. The uh, the ceremonial or, or the commemorative Cheech and Chong stash holders <laughs> will be displayed. Oh, thank you. Okay, and it does take over your webcam as well. Appears so. Well, we're learning a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So, and, but this is with extras. So, what, yeah. what does the extras do? The extras the, is the things, the notes and the sketch pad. And notes the and sketch pad, and then the E. And the screen sharing. And there's also an EFL course, fall 2011. Oh, this is your course. That's my presentation that's that I... Cool. And, oh, okay. and if you click on that, 
you see it, but we don't. But if you could um, share screen and choose that, then we would. Yeah, look. Okay. I'm going to share my screen and I'm looking at his right now. Uh -huh. And I'm flipping through. It did it. No, I, my face is still there though. But I'm looking. Share yeah, your screen. Okay, yeah, share. Sketch. Oh, I got it. There. Oh, you yeah. stole my screen. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Who's yeah. stealing my screen? Oh well. well. <laughs> so okay, I'll stop sharing the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. But now, now the video's back. That's so, because I um, stopped sharing. So my Scott, screen. Yeah. I, what? And I'm now, sorry. Scott, you're you're huge. Like you are the my whole screen right now. Well, now, bum bum bum, pizza in the morning. Well, that hmm. uh, it's the person who's talking is supposed to be the one who gets put up here. But I guess if you're doing a screen share like that, no problem. Hmm. Oh, I see. So now I have it until I pass it away. It can't be stolen, or can it? Well, I don't know. You try. Let's that see. sounds like a there to me. Oh, the if I okay. share my... Okay. Yeah. That's it. Awesome. So, Scott, look, what are you doing up so up. late? Look at us. We're learning. We're learning as we go. Yeah. Well, I, what s here? I must confess, I've been very um, very much the poor student in the, the um, EVOM lit MOOC. And uh, I saw the announcement that this uh, video demonstration by Jeff Lebo would be on where you're going to teach us how to stream in a second life so I woke up and came in and here we are goofing around with hangouts yeah you never know but you did teach us that earlier uh, let's see that's uh, jefflebo.net slash streaming dash recording dash uh, google dash plus dash hangout that he is taught us that already. yes that's old news <laughs> This is file. Hmm. I want to get rid of this. You are now off the record. Learn more. <laughs> off the record. I mean, the screen sharing quality isn't really that good. Yeah. I mean, not, not that I, you know. We can't complain; it's free and all that. But in terms of like using it for a class, if you really wanted someone to be able to see your screen, that's not that bad, actually. Well, it depends on what you have up. And then uh, Scott's sketch things. We just don't want a lot of dense text. In. We just a map. I, I just yeah. I think you just have to think about very carefully what you're going to present with, yeah. with the the images and it's a, it's a new uh, medium it's a new is medium the right word it's a new medium yeah. platform yeah so it's really interesting <laughs> and just imagine you know if have we bumped into something like this four or five years ago we would have been totally blown away and now we can well, say, I'm oh, still blown away. yeah exactly <laughs> well, frankly I'm a little bit surprised except it took Jeff. this long <laughs> except for Jeff I've yeah. been waiting huh but it looks like once you start a file or you start a sketchpad, you can't delete it. Because I was just looking at the sketchpad I was making. It's full of, um, well, I'll share my screen. I, and, it looks and like I, this right now. And I wanted to delete. I wanted to delete it, but I can't. Only people explicitly granted permission can access. Oh no, there's something else. I can't delete this. Well, it's a Google document. So, so you can delete it from within Google Docs, I think. Oh, yeah? Right, right. Oh. Yeah. If I go to my Google Docs, I see the Sketchpad thing. And I think it says I'm the owner. Maybe we Maybe each... Hmm. Then what happens if we create a new one? Hmm. Okay, well, Robin is sharing that. Is that okay, I'll get rid of it. I'll stop sharing the screen. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to say, like, I didn't like my work and I wanted to erase it, and I, it doesn't seem like I can. 
because yeah, we have it, one document shared between us. Yeah. But probably it's you own that Google Doc. So it's probably you can check your Google Docs later or now and see if it's there. Okay. Well right now I'll it's go. you, me and Robin that have access to it and it says I'm the owner. I'm curious. Are you the owners? Nope. I wonder if it's because you opened the um the room. The Makes hangout. Sense. So if I'm the owner, can I delete it? And what will happen if I do? I'm gonna try that now. Okay. I'm You're moving it to the trash. I'm gonna trash it for everyone. I have trashed it. But there it still exists. Hmm. It's uh it's shadow as well. But I wonder who's the owner. Someone else must have become the owner. Let's see if it's in my Google box. Okay, I'm going to go to Google too and see if I can find it in Google Docs. Yeah, maybe it's shared with it. Sharing lots of stuff with my students with Google Docs, which is really good. Really cool. I've been using Google Docs for a writing class, and it's so awesome. It really is. Uh, I mean, of course, I filter, you know, so... Yeah, I've got a notes talk. There's my, yeah. our notes. So notes, notes. That's one that yeah. I opened. So it's got the shared notes. See, so if I open that, what it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, I love Google Docs for writing, because, you know, I do. We write, I go in and I give them feedback, and every time one of them writes, it comes up on top of my, um, it comes up on top of uh, the list, they add this something to it, it gets bold, so you know, it's really nice. Hmm. So smooth, and I can show them, you know, in class, oh, this one just came in, this one just came in, okay, let's all open Google Doc and share them with me. Uh, you can see who's doing the work right away. Pretty cool. I've never used it in class. I've used it to finish uh, assignments on this course, but never with a class because I was really worried about everyone having to sign in to get Google accounts and then sign in at the same time. But it's pretty fast, I suppose. Is that how you, what you find? It's, it's not a problem. And but what I, I use uh, Titan Pad if I want them all to write at the same time. Titan Pad, T I T A N. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And Pad right. com. It's one of the Inter Pad clones. So I'll generally set up some writing thing like um, I just uh, there was an exercise in the book that in, in the book you write in some conclusions to some paragraphs. So I just wrote a few of those into the Titan pad and then they all visit it and then they start writing in the conclusions and they, they offer different conclusions and they really love that. And then I, uh, the uh, starter, uh, you, you can put a starter there and they can copy it into their Google Docs and then they can, they can take off with it individually. It's just all kinds of little ways. That, that hmm. But Titan pad, Titan great. pad is nice because if you no use something like Sync in, it's limited to eight people. So the Titan, Titan Pad seems pretty robust. I think it takes at least 14. Wow, this is great. But I obviously probably have to make my own class name, like Robin Level 7 1. All right, enter your name. Let's see, where can I put? I will see if I can put the. URL from my course in some space. I'm not sure where to put it. Oh, here we go. The, um, the screen chat keeps coming out on me. Actually, I think I've given it to. Uh, I, think I, put, I think I put it in a post. Thing. What do you mean by cutting out on you? 
Uh, I think it's my computer. It's just a virtual memory or something. I, I'm not sure. I got a computer that's on its last legs, and um, hmm. it just keeps freezing. Or maybe it's just running scripts in the browser. I'm not really sure. This is the live stream <laughs> chat. Yeah, the live stream chat. I just okay. think I managed to put a URL there. Okay, yes, I just showed you the TitanPad. Awesome. Yeah. TitanPad is nice because it, it, uh, it's robust for a number of people. There we go. I think that's my writing course. I'm sort of building it. I'm, I'm, it's just a wiki huh. that I set up. Um, and I'm sorry, why would you use TitanPad instead of Google Docs? Uh, because with TitanPad, it's really fast. You can get a lot of people into the same writing space. And um, it, it's kind of like Wave. It has a lot of similarities with Google Wave. Um, because uh, it has a slider, so um, you can recapture any part of the chat. Each any of those parts will have its own URL, and um, you can you can just slide and recapture or uh, pass stuff away, or you can save at certain junctures. Like if we do an exercise and it succeeds, then I'll save it, and then if anybody comes in later and messes around with it, I can go back and just save. Well, mm -hmm. so it's, it's really just a, it, it was bought the Etherpad company was bought by Google, and the, people who created the open source code are working for Google. And I think that obviously they've got them in the, in the room where they you know, chain all the people working on Google Docs. But, um, but because it was open source, the code was taken and put up by a lot of different hosts. So if you, if you Google Etherpad clone, Etherpad clones, then you can find a number of these. Uh, hmm. So, uh, it's been lovely hanging out, but I'm afraid I need to retire for the evening. Uh, okay. It's been so kind of you to do this wonderful demonstration of how we stream from Second Life. And, uh, <laughs> and appreciate it. My pleasure. I hope, uh, I hope you're all set to stream from Second Life now. <laughs> I, I think manage it Not now. quite. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, really, it's been very instructive. It's always fun to hang out. Learning well, while together. we're here, before you leave, Jeff, could I borrow your attention for just a couple of minutes? Yes. Okay, it's kind of an announcement, but since there's a group of uh, teachers here, maybe I could get a little bit of feedback or, or thoughts. So, do you mind if I just share what I'm starting? No. Okay, uh, it's, it's a new podcasting project, and it's at scottlow.com, and... I've done the first recording and what I'm intending to do over the next four months is do uh, just a personal action research project where I'm looking at my teaching and I because as some of you know I, I teach at three or four different places and I'm always trying to figure out what comes next so rather than go through the same semester long frustration of wondering where I am what am I doing who am I why is this so tough I thought I would try to create a uh, an audio and text archive through blogging and uh, podcasting. So I'm just sort of sharing the idea with you and wondering if, obviously you haven't seen it or heard it yet, my first introduction recording is going to be released tomorrow. But uh, does this inspire or prompt any questions? Or So I'm sorry, those? you're going to be recording your lessons and uploading them? No, no, I'm just going to be doing my typical podcast where okay. I can talk, talk about what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, and... Uh, sort of talking about each of the classes and I'll sort of verbalize the thought process and preparing lessons and discuss the frustrations or the successes and hopefully people will follow and listen and perhaps might become involved in terms of asking me questions and I might bring a hangout like this into it at some point so it is like collaborative action research it's still very as you can tell from my description unsettled but it'll be a, a multi-month process and at the end I think I'm gonna have a whole bunch of data and then I'm gonna make that data 
open Creative Commons, so anybody could do what they want with it. They can remix my rambling uh, long talks, or you know, perhaps something could come. So that's that's what that. courses will it be that you'll be teaching and podcasting about? Well, it's everything I do. I've got a few ESL classes at a medical school. I've got some computer classes at another school, and then also my cyberspace and society and a radio class. So the whole ball of wax. Yeah. Well, we just have to hear it. There so you go. Well, um, why don't you come on to learning together and talk about it? Okay. So the 16th is our next. Uh, yeah. Open day. No, no, 16th is taken the 23rd, I think. But anyway, October, November, December opens up again. So, yeah, why don't you come on and introduce what you're doing on learning together? But, uh, if I'm Still teaching, uh, will be at this time, but sometimes it's better to go earlier. Okay. I've got okay. this evening class for the next 10 weeks. And I'm just delighted that there's some Scott Lockman content that I can find in my, my podcatcher. Well, Jeff Lebeau, there's going to be a whole lot of it over the next few months, so you might <laughs> <laughs> rue those words. I, I uh, listened to you on many cold New Hampshire mornings as I was driving out of town, and then it stopped. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of excited about this, so thank you for letting me just uh, bloviate on it for a moment or two, and uh, it will be at scottlow.com starting tomorrow, as well as the few yeah, recent episodes. Yeah, I didn't seem to know about world business. Sorry, I didn't hear you? I was saying that you didn't you weren't aware of Jeff and Dave's goal with world bridges. No, it didn't. Yeah, you should check it out because uh they've become quite um prolific in their podcasting. Do you know about oh. Ed Tech Talk? So yeah, check it out. Jeff, yeah, I've just Yeah. I think that's been going on for a couple of years yeah, now, Ed right? Talk, Ed, Ed Tech, Tech Talk. Talk. Yeah. <laughs> Since 2005. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you Are you doing okay. it tomorrow morning, Jeff? Yes, I am. Okay. What's your uh, topic? Um, tablet. To be, to be determined later. No, we actually we have topics now, and we can't end the show until we know next week's topic. Oh, good. Dave's gotten good. very like uh, <laughs> organized in his old age. Yeah. He used to be a real go with the flow kind of guy, and now he's like. He wants start, now that now that he's such a prominent you know mover and shaker in the ed tech world, I think he feels uh, compelled to be more organized. Well, that's what happens yeah. when you hang out with Downs and see yeah. him become a real pedant. I guess so. Pedant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, pedant. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate this opportunity and uh, hope to yeah, talk to you nice all again. Yeah, nice to see everyone here. Lovely it's meeting very you, nice. Robert. Nice to meet you too, yeah. Jeff. Have fun tomorrow. Thanks. Okay. Hang out with you all soon. Have yeah. a great week. Bye-bye. Bye. Sure. Yo, Bye. Later, Vance. Later, Jeff. Robin. So long. Bye. How do you, how do you turn all this stuff off? Which window <laughs> Good do you question. <laughs>